beautiful day here in the state of Delaware. Let me give you guys a quick pan around real quick. So we're down here at a local creek and then things are kind of a little bit different since last time we were here. So I'm sure you could probably hear it, but uh, there has been rain. So we are now standing literally in the middle of Willy Wonka's river. Look at this thing real quick, man. That is chocolatey. Possibly maybe like a few inches of visibility. There's a lot more water here than the last time we were here. So that's a thing. It's kind of nice though. It's relaxing. Like, hold on. Just, just listen to this real quick. Nice little babble and brook. So today we are out here. We're going to be doing a challenge sort of thing. We're kind of going to be throwing it back to like back in the day when we used to do these kind of videos. This is kind of going to be like a survival video slash find our own bait slash forage slash see what kind of fish we can catch in this chocolatey water. So if there's one thing I know about Delaware and the summertime, there's life everywhere. You can hear the birds singing in the distance. We got the live trees. We got like everything is green and alive. And that includes a bunch of smaller stuff in the water and on the land as well. A bunch of bugs, a bunch of spiders everywhere, a bunch of stuff that fish potentially would want to eat. With us today, we are armed with this right here, a trusty bucket. So basically, we're going to be going around and trying to find as many things as we can that we think will catch some fish. For example, we'll dig for some crawfish, which might like this whole raininess might make everything kind of a little bit sort of more difficult ish but we're hopefully going to be able to do this pretty good but yeah man we're turning into bear grills here we're gonna take that bucket we're gonna go on land we're gonna go in the water try to find as many things as we can possibly to catch some fish i think my goal is 10. that's kind of high but this is gonna be pretty cool because hopefully um we'll get some stuff that we really haven't fished with before but also i want to challenge you guys to do this in your local creeks or ponds as well see if you can beat my highest score it might be a little bit tougher today, as I said, because of the water conditions. We're just already making excuses, man. Let me actually get off these rocks real quick. The other thing, too, is since the water is so murky today, I don't know if it's going to be easier to catch fish. I already know it's probably not going to be easier. That's going to be interesting as well, seeing what we can actually, like, not only catch, but what the fish will eat that we catch. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Breaks both ankles beginning of video. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste any time, man. Let's get right into this. By the way, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you guys want to see more stuff like this. And also, let me know any other kind of video ideas you guys have down in the description below. And also, if you enjoy the videos but you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the noti bell so you actually, you know, get the notifications and actually YouTube tells you when I upload and stuff. But yeah, man, as I said, we haven't done a video like this in a long time. What should we do first? As I said, there's a bunch of life everywhere. Just start, I mean, look at this. Big, nice log. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I thought that was a freaking snake next to it the first. All right. This is a big log, dude. Ugh. Instant. 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 Oh, dude, that's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, no joke. Hold on, where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Boom. I have some sand in there from I don't even know what. First thing we got in the bucket. That's like, I mean, you had to know that was coming, right? I mean, when you think about fishing and bait, Worms come into your mind. By the way, I don't know if I said this either, but the way we're actually freaking little gnat. The way we're going to be doing this here is we're only going to be able to use one bait. Like I can only get one worm, and that's what we could go fish with. And then once we catch a fish on that, like we're going to go to the next bait and see how many different things we can catch on the stuff that we catch. If that makes any sense at all. So basically, if I catch more than one fish on the worm, it still counts as one fish catch for this challenge. As I said, we're gonna to try to get 10. So I don't know what we're gonna find in here, but spiders, snakes, frogs, stuff, but the fish have to eat it. So if we just catch it, it doesn't count. That makes any sense at all. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit more. Maybe we could find like a, like a, I mean, this is so big. All right, anything else down here? Anything else? See something flying right there. It's like a tiny little, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Nothing that we could probably put on a hook though, huh? All right, we're getting in the thick of it right here. It's kind of like rush this around. It's a nice place for some worms to be hiding. I'm done with the worms, but other kind of bugs you think would have to be in all this stuff. Oh, what was that? Hello? What is that? What What is that? This big old tree right here. I was kind of looking at it. I was like, is there anything? Because you know in uh, Iron King, there, there's stuff in the trees. So I was looking. There's like a hole right here. Hello? 
Nobody's home. But right down here, where was it? Look at this. I don't think that's alive. I don't know if that's just a shell either. But, wait, where's the good lighting? This, I believe, is a cicada. I don't, know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Look at that. We're going to put that in the bucket. Again, I don't know if something like molted out of that or what is going on. But that is the second thing in the bucket. We're going to kind of count that, right? Like if we catch a fish on that. Is that I mean, that counts, right? I was going to say, though, um, a couple months ago, I, I'm like a little late on this. I guess in the... Hello? You guys see that? In the springtime here in Delaware and like the surrounding states, even kind of where I was, I think I was in like... Uh, I don't even know, Utah or something. There was a giant uh, spawn. I guess this is the year. I, cicadas like come out of the ground, I think every seven or 11 or some kind of years. I don't know, I'm not a cicadistologist. Apparently this year was crazy though. These things are loud and they swarm and they were everywhere. So that's cool that we found one right there. I haven't seen a real life cicada in a long time. So that was pretty cool that we got that in the net. Oh wait, there's a couple down here. In middle school, I remember, I don't know how many years ago it was, but there was like a big swarm at recess and everything. Here's another one. Is this dude alive? Hello? Can you guys see that? Right there on that. Look at this. Looks like beautiful moss. I'll put that in my house. See that guy right there? Looks like there's one right there. So I don't know. Oh, there's like two right there. You see that? Oh, there's a bunch. Hold on. Just crazy like alien looking things, but it's like a little hole. And I guess they come out of that shell to do cicada things. But they feel kind of fragile. Where the heck? Oh, there he is. Worm's all sandy. See that? <laughs> oh, see, I was thinking about one of these guys too. All right, come on my stick. I don't know if he can crawl out of my bucket though. Oh, wow, he's fast. Hello? Um, maybe we'll have to find one of those when we're ready to fish with it. That was a big ant. The other day when I was walking around, no joke, I saw one of those ants go into the water and they were just kind of like doing their ant thing and choke. And came up and smacked it. We'll have to put one of them. I think if I put that in the bucket, it's just gonna crawl out. And they're freaking fast, dude. I did want to take a look at this thing right here, too. It's like, I guess when rainfall comes down, there's like a little pathway and it comes through this pipe. And it made this sort of uh, little hole here. Just want to take a good look at it, see if I see anything. Looks like there is a worm down there. Can you guys see that? Like right there. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Probably, uh, definitely didn't pick the best day to do this. Anything on this log right here? Or what is it? Yeah, it's like a muddy log. Um, do not see any frogs or any kind of bugs or anything. But yeah, the other day when I was here, like last, I don't know what video it was. I'll put it up in the little thing right there. You click on it if you guys haven't seen that video. But this was completely see-through and I could see fish all over the place. Now I do not. You think there's some bait in here? Loki, that's probably some good stink bait. All right, this looks like a good area. Whoa, that bird is... You hear that? Oh, dude, there's another one of the big ants. I'm telling you, the ants are going to be the key. I'm already counting the ant on the list. Oh, this looks like some Lion King stuff, dude. Come on, give me like a nice roly-poly. I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Uh, so people are kind of walking around. It's, it's sort of like a park sort of area that I'm at right now. I'm gonna show you like what I look like over here in the corner. And people are just <laughs> staring while they walk by. Whoa! Can you see that? Is this guy alive? No, he's a hole in his back too. I don't even know if you can see it with that lighting. There's a big cicada on that freaking leaf. Ooh, here's something pretty interesting. I've actually been wanting to get into the uh, mushroom game. Can anybody tell me? Focus. Here, let me bring out the other camera. Can anybody tell me what kind of mushrooms these are? I feel like it'd be cool to like learn all about the mushrooms and which ones you can eat and stuff. Like, can you eat these ones or not? <laughs> Cause I feel like uh, you can't really take chances. And the thing about mushrooms too is like, I could study them all I want, but then again, I like I'm colorblind so i don't know if that's a good idea but hey there's mushrooms you think officially the mushroom all right we'll get back to the land here in a little bit i want to go into the water over here see what we can find because you got to think if there's like super crazy flow down with like, like with, the, with the rainwater and stuff i wonder if that brings a lot of like bugs and everything on the surface into some pools 
in areas that you know they just kind of sitting at which could be good bait and i also want to see i mean it's muddy but if we can get a crawfish i already know that that's gonna be good bait also keeping an eye out for other bugs spiders possibly they might crawl out of my bucket so it has to be like when we're fishing but other stuff like uh you know caterpillars roly polies grasshoppers which i haven't seen any grasshoppers since i've been oh you hear that it's like super quiet but it's uh over in those trees i hear some cicadas I talked about this before too but in colorado i was saying when we were catching those uh, crawfish which you guys haven't seen that crawfish video it was so much fun we were catching some big freaking crawfish and we were actually uh like catching up with our hands like we used to do here which we have videos back on the channel I'm sure a lot of you old subscribers remember that but the crawfish like I, I guess like the bigger they are or just something about colorado crawfish they're like so relaxed like when i went to grab them they were just like eh all right <laughs> I was like, what the heck? It's probably definitely gonna be hard for you guys to see. I just need one. One should do, if it's a lucky one. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. So basically all I'm doing um, is moving some rocks around. These crawfish go up under these rocks and they kind of hide under like shelves and ledges. Just anywhere, you know, they can be protected. Sometimes they'll be out and about. Oh, there's a little minnow that was right there. It's tough with this, like, I, I know it's hard to see with the glare too, but like, when you pick up a rock, it's just dust. Oh, there's a little minnow. If it was life or death, and they're like, you have to find a crawfish, there's a secret serum made from it to survive. Yeah, no. I, uh, I don't know if I'd be coming out of that one, Chief. It's very interesting, like, I don't know, the way like the, the light reflects off the water. I, I got polarized on, but then, uh, you know, the cloudiness, the water moving super fast. Oh gosh. Yes, those are all excuses. Wow, there's so many dragonflies. I can't freaking find one right now, dude. Hmm. I just know if I can move this rock right here, this big daddy rock. Okay, that, that might give us a chance. That's gonna be super cloudy. We just gotta wait till that. Oh, yep, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh. Well, rip the hole. Secret fishing hole. It looks like somebody, I think it's a golden retriever. I don't know what it is actually. Someone's throwing a uh, ball and it's just, bah, bah, bah. All those fish are probably freaked out if there's any in there. We're gonna have to find a new spot. That was gonna be my little, my little secret bait fishing catching spot. It's all good. I'd rather that dog play. Oh, if you have a dog, maybe if you would not play with him or her yet today, Make sure to go out there, man. You don't want them just sit around and take them to the creek. Just don't put them in that hole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, we're gonna go up here, a little bit away from the water into this different kind of terrain. See if anything is around. This is interesting, man. This looks like a freaking dinosaur bones. See this? You got some rocks over here. Like, I gotta admit, man, you gotta appreciate a nice rock when you see it, especially this one. Look at that. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. It's got some nice moss on it. Let's be honest here. I'm probably the best hunter-gatherer in the world. Anybody home? Hello? All right, so just a quick recap. What do we have so far? We have some cicadas that are croaked and a worm and the ant. Don't forget the ant. That's definitely something we could catch pretty quick and put it on the little hook. So we can count that, I guess. So that's three. What do we do? Goal is 10. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I, I mean, you come out here, sometimes I have these ideas. Sometimes Mother Nature's just like, Ugh. I mean, if we were, you know, out here surviving, we could probably, I don't know, can you eat cicadas? We could eat the worm, or we could use the worm if we have a rod or just a hook, or we could try to make a hook. I'm not very good at that, but, you know, we could try to catch something. Oh, my God. Dude, that thing's like a freaking snake. Whoa, 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 where'd it go? Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll put that worm in there, too. That's a good luck worm. Now we got good luck. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, that's spiky. Ah! Oh, jeez. I'm going to start looking under these, like, big rocks and stuff. So I'm gonna pull out a freaking Burmese python. Oh, see, this is pretty cool though. Look at that. Let's see. It's probably about 15 minutes ago. 
scent still strong. Probably went south southeast, quarter mile kilometer pace. All right. Well, we got the rod out. We're just gonna we're just gonna give this a shot. I mean, we have two baits at the moment. We can get a, as I said, and I think I don't know. I just want to see if there's fish here. The dog was literally swimming right here, probably maybe like 20 minutes ago. So I wonder if these fish, like what's the respawn rate of a spooked fish from a giant dog <laughs> paddling next to him? Oh, there are so many water bugs here. Why do the fish not eat those or do they? They're all, there's probably like a hundred right here. Like no joke, that's like a hundred. So let me show you guys the setup. Real quick, as always, we're going with the ultralight in the creek. This is an, this is a lose mock light speed stick. And we have six pound floral on here. We have two tiny little split shots and we have a little baby hook right here. Now we were kind of using the similar setup the other day and we were just crushing fish. I think first we're gonna go with one of these dudes. I, I just, they look so weird, man. And they're crispy. Look at that. So freaking weird. Watch them just start flying away. I just hope that they don't like, I don't know, they're not like too crispified for these fish. Like, you know when you overcook some toast or, or like a pizza or something, and then it's just kind of like, eh, that might be the same case, but maybe not. Oh yeah, look at that, the head's coming off and everything. Oi. Okay, the head is off. They literally, this thing's like roasted and toasted. I, I mean, I'm gonna throw it in. It might come off though. I don't know if anything, like is there even any scent on it? What an interesting day so far. All right. Something eats this man, I will be, I will be freaking happy. I just want this one off the list. After seeing how crispy it is, I don't know if it's really gonna A, attract anything and B, stay on the freaking hook. I don't even know if these fish will still be here. A, because of the rain, but B, because of the ginormo dog. We're just gonna have to try to cast it. I didn't want to do this. I think it might come off. I don't know, did it come off? I'm sure a live one would have been the wave. If you guys remember back in that video when we were in Utah, I was kind of talking about it earlier, but we fished with a, like a fly, it was like a cicada fly. Top water action. That was a fun video, man. Again, it just feels so weird to me to be back in Delaware. You no, know, we don't have as crazy a fish. No, we don't have, you know, the most variety, but there's just something about being back home, you know, it's, it's nice. For a little bit, at least. All right, you know what? Before we put another cicada on, real quick, this guy is going nuts, though. Like, so much action. Oh, he's like gooey, too. Oh, wait, he just, he split himself off. Oh, gosh, if there's any big fish that came down with this storm. Oh, I just got bit. Please don't tell me he took the worm. So there's definitely fish. They're definitely biting. Feels like kind of nippy, though. Hopefully these, like, sunfish don't shred him up. They probably already did. Let's take a look. Oh gosh. Oh boy. All right, I need to be more strategic. It's just like, I don't know, I swung for the fence. It's like big worm, big fish. We gotta be more careful with our bait. I mean, those probably won't be too hard to come across again, right? All right, come on, let's just get our first fish on the board. Right there where I just got bit last cast. I don't know if he was moving and that's why they bit it or they just smelled the worm. I'm sure the worm had a lot more scent than the crusty cicada, right? But now we're not getting bit. Maybe it was the movement. I'm confused. Let's kind of toss it up a little bit more. Oh, I just got bit actually. Oh my gosh. He's trying to run off with it, man. Do the dash. Crazy how the conditions change, Red. Oh, that, oh, I had a fish on there. There you go. I got a fish. What is it? Oh, okay. Come here, come here, come here. Oh my God, I almost just freaking broke my everything. All right, y'all. So this is the culprit. Pretty, pretty little dude. I, uh, last time we were fishing here, actually, we ran into a ton of these guys. Oh, geez. Oh, that's not nice. Chill, 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 chill. He just wanted to wash himself off a little bit. All right, there we go, man. First species of the day, first freaking fish. Feels like forever ago we started this thing. First fish of the challenge. 
Beautiful red breast sunfish. Tiny little dude, man. Honestly, this could almost be bait too. We're not gonna do it. If there were catfish in here, or if they were, you know, really bigger, I mean, this is a tiny dude, but I don't think any bass or anything would eat this in here, but maybe we catch a smaller one. Maybe. It's another bait we could use, but let's let this tiny little dude go right here. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, so let's just take this off for a second. We'll keep this worm on the sidelines. Oh man, all right, so this is the last, you guys didn't see it, but the other cicada, oh, you hear that? I think that's a cicada up there. But the last one we had, like look how crispy this is. I'm gonna try to put this on there and get it out. We might just have to piece it up, chunk it up again. I'm just gonna drop this down there and see if even anything would want it, like eat it. Oh my gosh, no. He almost took all of it. Oh my God, we had one. Oh, welcome to Delaware. It's literally a first day fish of it. You never know what's gonna happen, man. Oh, those things are so weird when they like, you see them right there? Oh, those water bugs. I wonder if we could smack them and put them on the hook. I bet you they've never really seen them before underwater, right? All right, let's try over here real quick. We have the butt of one of these dudes. Let's just kind of do that. Come on, cicada. Right by these rocks. Wait, what is that? Someone just took off with it. What is that? <laughs> All right. Second species, or uh, second fish of the day. Eey, that took a while. Okay. Another red breast. Freaking pretty dude. Like, I will never get tired of these colors. I don't know if it's like their spawning colors or what, but so vibrant. Like, that's a cool looking fish, man. That's like something you'd see in freaking tropical somewhere. To you guys, it looks like a worm, but it's not a, like, that's not a worm, dude. Whoa, I've never seen a leech before. That is an actual leech, a Delaware leech on the bottom of this rock where I found it. Okay, we're gonna put that on. Okay, it's through. We're through. How many people have fished with live leech? Oh gosh, it's so weird, man. It looks like a worm. Don't get me wrong, but the face, it's like flat almost. I mean, why would a fish not eat a freaking leech? Looks just like a worm, but it's probably like more delectable, you'd think, right? Eh? Maybe not. Oh yeah, on the leech, on a leech, on a freaking leech. <laughs> Dude, when I set out to film this video today, I did not think we were gonna be A, finding a leech, and B, catching a fish. It's right in its mouth right there. All right, chill. Another red breast. Again, these guys are very populated out here. It's like, what do I do with the leech though? Like, I don't want to let him go, right? Ah, chill, dude. I don't want to get bit by that leech. All right, it actually just fell off the hook. There it is right there. Let me know, if, are you supposed to like, not keep them alive if you find one? I don't know, I feel like people swimming here, dogs swimming here. I'll just leave him over there for a second, but here he goes. Whew, all right, y'all. Well, that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. This was a ton of fun, man. I didn't expect to catch some of those things we caught. And I expected to catch some things that we ended up not being able to catch. You gotta love it, man. Fishing and just being outdoors in general, you never know what's gonna happen. When I pulled up in my truck here, there was this weird green bug on it. I don't know, but the fish probably would have freaking slurped that thing in. It is just crazy to me too, we got a leech. It's like one of the first leeches, like I've seen them before, only ever in Delaware by like flipping rocks. And I didn't know it was a leech. Or I did actually see one one time swimming in a creek, not this creek, but yeah that was very interesting it's cool that we caught a freaking fish on it That's, i could say the first ever fish on a leech we had some opportunities for some other stuff as well um not the best fishing water so i mean we caught some fish they were all the same type of fish but at the end of the day man just being out here is, is just, just i couldn't ask for anything more those fish it, it, you know we weren't going for a species today we were going for species to catch species Definitely let me know if you guys ever tried this before. Let me know if you guys will see more videos like this or we should come back and do it at the creek when it's more clear or do it at another creek, do it at the freaking ocean beach. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have to fish here today. I'm actually going um, somewhere tomorrow. So 
got to get back get everything ready eat and stuff I've barely eaten today but that's pretty much again going to be it for this video again thank you guys so much for all the freaking support i've been having a lot of fun making these videos and just thank you guys man all i gotta say is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video you wanna know just where